So Ramen Toys are the road warriors searching for a righteous cause. They are the rockers, they are the rollers, they are the outer controllers. More specifically, with all these sharp details, we're looking here at the Ramen Razor from Ramen Toys. So sit back and relax, just like this fella here. I'm gonna look at episode 25 of Flicks and Figs on Tac Tac Toys. So welcome back Tac Tac Toys, your home of Valorous Action Force, G.I. Joe Classified, Operation Monster Force, and a hell of a lot, a lot more. So here's the Dark Knight, a third party figure. And Higher Toys are giving us our Universal Soldier, Andrew Scott. So let's get into all that and more. This video is not for kids. So yeah, Ramen Toys, Ramen Razor. A post-apocalyptic version of the Ramen Racer. No doubt. Um, great for sort of any post-apocalyptic figures you might have. So for example, your G.I. Joe Classified, you know, your, your Dreadnoughts. Uh, this could be a great vehicle for them. But there is sort of rumours that a Dreadnought Thunder Machine is coming at some point in classified scale. I guess we'll have to see for SDCC. But until then, Joe Fest is keeping us busy and this will probably be showing off at Joe Fest. Um, Joe Fest will be occurring probably at the time of this video when you're watching this. And, you know, shout out to casual collector John. I might be able to have a video up with some Joe Fest sort of, um, yeah, you know, content. So until then, we'll keep an eye out for that. But yeah, this is the Ramen Toys Ramen Razor. I think this looks really good. I really like, I mean, I really like the look at this. Keeping it with Ramen Toys, we've got to look at the Aces of Avi Aviation. These are product samples. So here we go. This is what they're going to look like in the packaging. If you feel the need for speed, you can check these out. It'd be nice if we get some jets in 112 scale. And to be honest with you, that doesn't seem out the realm of possibility from Ramen Toys. I mean, here's a, some of their tanks. You know, these have got the stickers on their tanks. These are obviously going to be on show at one um, at Joe Fest. These are again 112 scale. So, I mean, Ramen Toys are really pulling out all the stops to give us plenty of choices with 112 scale vehicles. And more power to them, to be honest. I mean, if you've got G.I. Joe Classified, Valorous Action Force, or the upcoming Operation Monster Force, you can fit any of those into these. Or, of course, Marvel Legends or any, anything 6-inch base, six inch based you can fit into these vehicles. And talking of vehicles, of course, Blue Hour Collectibles has the um, Stinger, the G.I. Joe Classified Stinger and Driver up for pre-order. Uh, feel free to check them out on my affiliate link in the comments below and you can pick up one for the very reasonable price of £99.99. Um, and yeah, well, as I say, welcome back to Tac Tac Toys. It's your home of action figure content. And let's get into that action figure content a little bit further in this episode of Flicks and Figs. So yeah. Higher Toys uh, sort of showed us Andrew Scott from Universal Soldier. Now, I'm sure you're aware of what Universal Soldier is. It was a 1990s film. It's kind of essentially where um, John claude Van Damme is the main character. Soldiers who've died in battle are reanimated by the American government for a top secret program where they kind of are like super soldiers, essentially. Um, of course, it doesn't quite go to plan as the soldiers start to regain memories and um yeah kind of john claude van damme's character was a, a guy a soldier who died in vietnam same with um dolph lundgren's one here andrew scott um i it's it's funny because it's not a massively fondly remembered film i i, I remember it from when i was in a teen i remember the dams hostage scene at the beginning being particularly good but these figures do look really good i mean i know places like props and replicas are going to have these up for pre-order i'm going to try and get both uh, john claude van damme and andrew scott now it's interesting to see what other kind of um, properties higher toys will do. Obviously, we've got Rambo, we've got Robocop um, on the way, we've got uh, Ghost in the Shell. I mean, who knows what they could do? Akira would be good. I know Tom Mini Plastic Mugs, uh, Multiverse mentioned Akira. That would definitely be a good one. Some Arnie-based ones would be good, like Commando. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? And just after look at, looking at these. I mean, maybe Running Man. They'd be quite fun from higher toys. And keeping it with a sort of military theme here, we've got to look at the Sergeant Rock um pre well pre-order yeah from from uh um mcfarlane toys my brain froze there um and that's the sort of more toyetic version that's a gold label and keeping it with dc here we've got the cy7 toys xprse 112 scale dark knight and a credit to lago figures on instagram for this one and he looks a bit like a ninja doesn't he with that face mask kind of covering um so yeah i mean there's special gifts of different different face sculpts coming up and this is yeah going to be a third party kind of like cloth goods style grim knight i guess he's called the one with all the guns although it says here dark knight uh but yeah i mean places like vc toy box and sort of 5k toys are going to have these up for pre-order we're certainly getting you know treated to great selection of third party figures at the minute in 112 scale and this is certainly one of them 
so let me know your thoughts on the in the comments below this one's been a relatively new release or you know just like the higher toys andrew scott from universe soldier these two have been only recently shown and mcfarlane obviously did do this figure um you know more recent sort of more recently again looking pretty good and now actually going to ninjas we've got a look at the super seven um well this is version two storm shadow although it's not really version two because it just looks like a repaint of version one but um version two's got the hood of the cowl but there you go and keeping it with gi joe look here at nemesis enforcer or immortal however you want to sort of pronounce him uh, so more on that later and of course more on this as well the super 7 ultimates uh, tmnt or teenage mutant ninja turtles 2003 turtles so we'll get a more decent look at them uh, later on in the video and for sdcc coming up we've got a look here at alf now what type of alf is this this is super alf okay not just alf super alf so this is um sdcc and sdcc exclusive from NECA course NECA's uh, sorry SDCC is just around the corner not NECA SDCC is just I'm sure NECA might be around the corner as well but SDCC is just around the corner uh, but before that we've got Joe Fest as I say um, so hopefully we'll have some nice stuff to look at at Joe Fest we'll certainly have some good stuff to look at at SDCC my god we're getting spoiled at this time of year aren't we the summer it's summer here in the UK the weather's good um, you know we've got jo Yojo June at the moment and just around the corner we've got sdcc so plenty to look forward to and the, i don't know the, i've seen this one before but um let me know your thoughts of anything we've seen in the comments below anything we've seen in the video so far and let's keep going shall we so let's get a look moving in a completely different direction let's look have a look here at the diamond select lord of the rings eowon and witch king i believe um yeah can't help but do a joke here say one ruler to rule them all because it's size comparison there next to ruler here's the witch king so yeah which king? That king. It's this witch king. Um, so yeah, so there we go. And I mean, if you're collecting Lord of the Rings figures, here's some additions to that collection. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could stick these in with the Harry Potter figures, with Lord of the Rings, with Mythic Legions. You could, you know, anything anything like that. Sword and Sorcery, maybe Mezco Conan, you know, Master, Master Universe, Masterverse. If you really wanted to be a bit diverse with your collecting habits um you know all that kind of good stuff so yep uh, one ruler to rule it rule them all there we go again and yep so let's move from that into a completely different direction hope you're enjoying the video so far mentioned it a bit earlier didn't i it's nemesis immortal now this does look excellent now i do believe that lenny and um bmac on their stream sort of said that this is inspired by the designs from the cobra commander mini mini series by id dub sorry by Skybound and Image Comics, which is an excellent series, by the way. You should really check that out. This boy looks quite beefy, doesn't he? And here we've got some, a look at some parts. This does look like some kind of leftovers from Wuhan, but this is, um, yeah, credit to Chinese site Weibo. Um, yeah, so there we go. I mean, like I say, bat parts here. I mean, looks like um, some kind of Wuhan nightmare, but yeah. And then we've got some other kind of uh, bits and pieces here. Possible arms for Road Pig, maybe, and Raptor's Bird. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, you know, lots of GI Joe goodness to come with SDCC around the corner. It's got that to look forward to. We may even have who, who knows? You never know. We may even have a possible surprise, surprise last reveal with Yojo June on this Tuesday coming up at the time of this video. But it may be saving everything for SDCC. We've got, you know, plenty of good stuff. Hopefully on the horizon in terms of GI Joe classified. But certainly a lot of parts there. Um, we both sort of showing off all sorts of different parts and Mezco one twelve sorry Mezco Mezcon 2024 is just around the corner hopefully we'll have a few good Mezco GI Joe purchase, reveals and if you're a bit battered from purchasing pre-orders check out how those two feel um, Invincible and Omni Man from Diamond Select and we go to um, Super 7 Ultimates yep yeah, we've, we've got a look at the Super 7 Ultimates 2003 uh, Ninja Turtles now uh, these do look uh, really good to be honest they've got a lot of double jointed articulation they do look really good the he head sculpts look really accurate so yeah these are going to be great um they're, they're, they're retailing for around the usual sort of super 7 price point which is around 55 dollars 55 pounds let me know what you think in the comments below about that if you're sort of happy about that if you feel like you might be able to sort of take a risk and gamble and get them on um you know get them on the discount sort of uh, well i guess it would it be ross and ollie's do it do super seven show up at ross and ollie's if you're in the states and watching this let me know in the comments below i think these look good i think these look good i mean i like um the initial super seven turtles that they did 
uh, you know, were kind of based on the toys, weren't they? Based on the toys. These are obviously based on uh, animation. And going into a horror theme here, we've got to look at um, Black and White, Hunchback Leo, and Wil Wolfman Raphael. So, yeah, the TMNT sort of Universal Monsters are always really, really good line. Um, I've got a few of those myself, Mummy Mike being my personal favourite, but yeah, these are really good, so we're getting black and white versions, which is really fun. Um, yeah. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you've picked any of these up, or you know, if you yeah, if you plan on picking these up. Syndicate Toys are giving us, keeping on a horror theme, a deluxe uh, pumpkin head, I believe this is. Not sure what character that's from, but you know, I'm not a big horror guy, so you, you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you're aware of who Pumpkinhead is, decent looking figure with decent articulation. I mean, this looks like something Ellen Ripley might fight, um, you know, on, on sort of in, in outer space. But um, yeah, it's certainly horror themed. Um, and yeah, we've also got to look at Syndicate Toys giving us another one, which is the Werewolf from the Howling. Now, this I am a bit more familiar with. I do know the Howling. Credit to Mephisto.co.uk um, for that image. And yeah, again, if you're enjoying this video, just let me know in the comments below. And moving back to Turtles, we did see some Turtles early on, didn't we? We've got Fury Toys or Fury Toys or whatever they're called. Um, a Bebop and Samurai version of Bebop. Um, yeah, so these are going to be on 5K Toys. Now, this looks really good. Um, the dry, you know, sort of dry brushing on it looks really good. So there's obviously this samurai version. Don't know whether these are two separate figures or whether they just mix and mix and match the parts. It's probably likely that, excuse me, you can mix and match the parts to make a more samurai version, or that they'll probably release the samurai version and the other bits will be like a gift. Well, there we go. Who knows? And Fure Toys. I've got a new Legends line. That's what they're called. These are like well articulated animals. Again, credit to 5K Toys. So if you want turtles or if you want animals um that could ride your turtles the turtles could ride sorry um then here you go and this looks you know imagine painting this green green with orange stripes this would be a great sort of um he-man you know he uh, your master versus he-man could ride this guy into battle there is sort of promo shots with the mythic legions characters on this i mean it looks pretty good this is give zabu a run for its money this looks, looks like zabu's granddaddy doesn't it um but my god the articulation on this is pretty damn good so yeah, I mean, Fure Toys giving us plenty of options with the an animal articulated animals. Not anthropomorphic in this sort of case, but very, very good looking, uh, you know, articulated animals. G.I. Joe Classified are well known for doing great articulated animals. And obviously, as you can see here, Fure Toys um, are jumping in on that. So God knows what else we could get. I suppose we could get elephants that people could ride and rhinos and all sorts of good things like that. But yeah, as you can see here, is a Mythic Legion sort of skeleton warrior uh, riding this animal. So you can see that for scale. And let's jump into a bit of Marvel Legends chat. So for all the latest Marvel Legends news, reviews, and live streams, you got Dan who reviews, Legends of Liquor, Turtles and Tea with Dan and, we, Dan and Tana. We did see a bit of Turtles news earlier, didn't we? And of course, Joes and Juice with Dan, New Plastic Multiverse, and myself talking all the latest GI Joe classified reveals. For action figure reviews in the UK, you can check out Jay's Toy Collection UK. Of course, heading over to stateside, we can check out Just Justin Collects for all his sort of reviews and sort of Q and A's that he does, talking about his collecting habits. So that's fun. Um, you can of course check out Miguel on the Wolfpack Tour review. Feel free to check out um, Trevor, the One Six Shooter, for all things Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, and more. For action figure reviews in Ireland, you can of course check out Brian's action figure reviews. If you like film and TV reviews, check out filmandtvreview.com. And of course, you can check out Austin, the Hero Collectors. And what else we've got going on here with these YouTube channels? Yes, you can check out the 3POA podcast. And of course, check out Photo Dave and Toy Picks. So feel free to check him out for action figure tips and toy photography. Yeah, in particular, tips. Um, what else can you check out? You can check out Elson Official Music, my good friend Elson. Uh, he does action, uh, you know, music of his own design and also covers and for action figure reviews and movie reviews you can check out cypher sigma and also feel free to check out big wheel pictures and plastic he does a lot of wrestling type videos with the who crew so you can check him out and feel free to check out why so serious toys and what else we got going on you can also check out let's see what the youtube channel i'd say links for all these youtube channels should be in the comments below but if not please check some of my previous videos. You can check out Dante and the Infinity Equation. For action figure news that's a lot more professional than mine, you can check out Rubber Don't Know on his channel, his weekly rewind. And feel free to check out Happy Pursuits, 
a really energetic YouTube channel that's like a lot of fun and energy in his reviews. And of course, you can check out Agent Z Man. And who else? Let's see. You can check out AC Toy Design. Um, yeah, he does a lot of custom action figures and he does sort of a podcast on a regular basis, which I ask him questions on. And yeah, moving back to the, the Dark Knight here, the third party Dark Knight. And of course, Joe Fest I mentioned is up, um, coming up and Ramen Toys do have this exclusive tank. It's available at the time of this video to pre-order. Talking of pre-orders, you can of course check out Blue Owl Collectibles. And I'll put a link, my affiliate link to them in the comments below. Feel free to check out Kapow Toys. Again, I'll put links to all these UK independent retailers and international ones in the comments below. You can, of course, check out Star Action Figures. And if they're not in the comments below, please check some of my previous videos. You can check out Comics and Cocktails and what other retailers we've got looking. Yeah, to look at, you can check out the whole shebang as well. And who else? Let's see. Um, you can check out Props and Replicas. I did mention Props and Replicas a bit earlier in the video, didn't I? Um, and feel free to check out In Demand Toys. Who else? Let's see what other good stuff we've got going on. Yes, of course, there's all the cool stuff, so feel free to check them out. Uh, and of course, if you want any Action Force, um, for all your Action Force needs, check out Valiverse.com with international shipping. And what else we've got? Uh, Emporium are cool. Now, they do a lot of high-end sort of stuff, like Mesco 112, Mafex, Amazing Yamaguchi, Rival Tech, that kind of good thing, so check them out. Yeah, so that is my video. That is episode 25 of flicks and figs joe fest will be around the corner i'll try and get some sort of content up relating to that but thanks again in advance to john the uh, compulsive collector and feel free to check out my mezco 112 snake eyes and storm shadow video not really a review just kind of a casual look at those two um i've had them a while i meant to put a video up and you can see some um classified troopers in the background uh, infantry troopers now obviously we're getting the retro card infantry trooper the retro card trooper so that's another good thing to look out for but um yeah i did this review on my bed by the way so that's why the diorama is a bit all over the place but it was just a kind of quick i threw up the diorama and just kind of shot um these figures but do feel free to check that out if you'd like to in the comments below and let me know if you collect mezco 112 let me know if you collect mezco 112 gi joes uh if you're more of a classified collector if you're excited for the rest of yojo june if you're excited for sdcc if you're excited for joe fest lots to sort of comment on there so please do don't be shy do feel free to sort of give me any of your thoughts in the comments below but that's basically my episode of uh flicks and figs to episode 25 quite a lot of action figure news to chat about i'm sure by the time i put this video up something new will have popped up it does seem to be the way at the minute there's just news coming left right and center and on that note the thousand toys halo reach noble 3 is up for pre-order at Britannia, according to Britannia.com. so shout out to them I think it's up on Hobby Genki, so that's like a Japanese site. I think Genki means happy in Japanese, but Hobby Genki, yeah. So, um, yeah, if you're collecting the thousand toys, uh, then you know, you feel free to pick this one up as well. These do look very good. They're a bit pricey, but they look very good. And if you're a video games sort of action figure collector, it's another one to add to your collection. So many thanks for watching. I know there's plenty of good stuff you can watch on YouTube, so I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, as always. Make sure you enjoy those flicks and figs and, you know, I'll see you on the next one.